Hey, what's going on? It's Riley Reed. I'm here with Barnes Courtney. He just did an amazing set. And uh, you can hear a song fire on Spin Radio. You probably already have on <laughs> Shameless Plug. But Barnes, I gotta ask you. It says you're from Ipswich, England. There's no accent. What's up with that, dude? Yeah, I just made that up to get attention. <laughs> <laughs> to get you signed? No. Um, I was born in England, but uh, I grew up in Seattle. Okay. And then I left Seattle when I was about 14, and I've lived in England ever since. Okay. So can you, like, put on a fake accent? Like, when you're in England, do you, like, try to... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah? I, I, I dress up as an old woman every Wednesday and go to the cafe. I've got a whole bunch of friends <laughs> in the like, 80s. <laughs> So I'll go down, hello baby, hey, it's me, Bounce, yeah. What, would you like another cut of? That's like a northern one. Right. And then you can do like a posh one, like, excuse me, I, I, I'm so charming with the bottom. I, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> the only one that I know how to do is this one, you know, you're talking like this. Oh, and you're yeah, like, oh yeah, 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 so uh, it's actually cool, you know. I first learned about you through a commercial. You know, uh, you were uh, you were featured in like an ESPN ad, I think, for the NBA Finals. Your song "Glitter and Gold." Yeah, those guys are really good to me. Yeah, actually. and you know what else? I I just heard it the other day in a Miller Lite commercial. Yeah, yeah, I gotta love beer. So do they like hook you up with like Miller Lite for life? I was just about to say you'd think so. What? Right? Why do you get shit from those guys? What? But all I got was my song on TV and a bunch of money. It's <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> Lifetime Miller Lite, money, song on TV. I'd probably go with that. I mean, there's a lot of beers that you can drink that are better than Miller Lite. That's true. Just yeah. say it. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. This isn't sponsored by Miller Lite, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I love Miller Lite. I drink it every day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you, did you get a chance to see the uh, cool steel stacks? I was talking to some guys about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we used to have an old steel mill here in town, and uh, it shut down like in the na late '90s. Uh, but now it's a, it's like in a, you can actually walk it. Like so you if want you get me a go chance there to and pour some molten metal with my shirt on, is that what you're saying? I mean, if you want, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I was not expecting that response. <laughs> but uh, question about fire. Okay, that's like that's your hit single and everything. Are you influenced at all by the Man in Black, Johnny Cash? Because I mean, I definitely hear that. In it's here. funny, when I wrote that song, I was really trying to, like, cross between um, Jack White and Kanye West, Black Skinhead, and I just failed miserably. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy with the result, and I listened to it, and was like, oh no, this, but this works. Um, but, you know, there's that song with the breaths at the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was trying to get that on the, on the start, and, but I, I made it um, in my friend's bedroom in a, in a decommissioned old folks home in Tottenham in North London. Are you serious? Like, yeah, you're, not, so, you're not bullshitting us, No, because right? so, well, we were in a band together, and uh, we got dropped by Island Records. Mm -hmm. So he moved into this government scheme where you pay 300 pounds a month to look after dilapidated buildings if they want to keep away from squatters. And I moved in with my girlfriend at the time. Okay. Um, and mooched off her. So... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I moved in with my girlfriend, now she's my wife, but I, like, mooched off her, too. <laughs> We broke up. Oh, I'm sorry. You'll find you'll find you'll find the right girl. We're still good friends. Sorry. Well, that's cool. She, cool. She's got a baby with you, Bobby. Oh, oh, no. I don't know if you're if you're joking or if you're serious. No, she really does. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> Such a sweet kid too. Oh, yeah. I got a video the other day. I digress, but she was listening to my music and she's like, Mom, Mom. <laughs> Did they make you the Godfather? I'm. I was gonna be the godfather, but then she decided I wasn't responsible enough. <laughs> so I just get to be Uncle Uncle Barnsey. <laughs> okay, Uncle Barnsey. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. But no, I was talking about the, the song, sorry. So um, I made it in this, this decommissioned old folks home and there wasn't really any equipment other than a microphone and a laptop. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we had to program a lot of the drums and make a lot of them out of filing cabinet hits or like scissor snips for glitter and gold. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, use the piano from the old rec room, and that's why the tracks ended up sounding quite different to how I'd imagined. Okay. And I kind of stumbled into this genre um, and decided that, that was going to be my thing. Yeah. You kill it, man. You absolutely kill it. You're, uh, you've got a new EP out, Hands, right? Uh, yep, yeah, Hands is out. There's, there's another one coming out pretty soon. That's what I wanted um, to talk about. So, so well, when's that coming out? I'm not sure because I've got two record labels. I'm on the with the UK and with the US, and okay. they kind of argue with each other about when stuff's going to come out. It needs to come out on this day. No, it needs to come out on this day. 
<laughs> yeah, so it's it, it's coming. I mean, that's what I keep telling them. Anyway, yeah. you know? So I, so they keep paying me and letting me do music for a living. So you guys, I got loads of songs. I, I got like twelve EPs that I've finished. Oh, they're, awesome. they're they're coming out. So um, we got we got a lot of stuff to look forward to hearing hearing from you guys. The album should be out soon as well. Great. So for full length album. Yeah, full length. Nice. Any uh, hints on what the name might be on the uh, the album? Have you come up with one one yet? I, I'm not sure actually. Really? Yeah, I was thinking of just kind of like just putting a big picture of my face and um, like having it so it was so all multi textures. So like some of it's paisley and some of it's silk. Oh, that's... And then you could just stroke it, and then you could come up with it. Your show. That, that is so much better than what I was going to suggest. <laughs> I was just going to suggest you have just a giant barn with your face on it. <laughs> I, like that. I just pulled mine out of my ass. I like that way better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Barnes, man, thank you so much for, uh, for playing for us. It was awesome. We can't wait to catch you tonight. It fits in the chance. Right, so, thanks, thanks so much. much. <laughs> <laughs>